Hi guys, I'm Angie and today I'm going to show you how I made this alien abduction lamp. Recently, I saw a concept for a lamp online to recreate an alien abduction scene that I thought was kind of neat. Most lamps had a cow in a grass field with a glass serving as a light beam taking it up into a spaceship. I saw some people online 3D print a UFO, while others used soda cans. I decided to give it a shot making one myself. So here's the idea. I'll start off with a base and add the grass field. Glue down the cow figurine and a glass cup to cover it. Take two plates with a hole cut in the bottom plate for the light to shine through. I wanted the light to be wireless where I could use a remote control and also allow for different colors. Then add whatever extra decorative elements I could on the UFO itself. For the base, I found a good looking wooden coaster from my local dollar store. I also found a sheet of fake grass with adhesive backing that was perfect for this kind of project so I used my Cricut to cut a circle out of it. This material was kind of thick and I had to experiment with different material types in the Cricut program to get the right amount of pressure to cut it out. Since I wanted to make the cow look like it was on its way up to the ship, I found one in a post where I could glue down its tail and one of its back legs. I used this tacky glue that dries clear and work well. Here I used super glue on the glass, but the glass didn't react well with the glue so I redid it later with the same tacky glue. The plates were made out of melamine. They're easy to crack and chip when drilling through if you're not too careful. I prepped the area with painter's tape on both sides and had a piece of wood on the other side to prevent blowout. I started drilling with my smaller drill bit and made my way up in size, making sure to not take out too much material at a time. Once I got to a quarter inch, I switched over to the hole saw and steadily made my way through the plate. This was definitely one of the most challenging steps of this project, and the hole wasn't as clean of a cut as I hoped, but it was okay. I sanded the hole and cleaned the plates to get them ready for painting. I used a spray paint with a glossy aluminum finish. To add an alien inside a UFO, I originally looked into buying a cheap one but it was tough to find the right scale for my spaceship, so I decided to 3D print one instead. Thanks to Thingiverse, I found this cute little alien that I was able to make minor adjustments such as scaling to the size I want and cropping out the bottom half of the body. After the print was done, I finished it off by adding black paint to its eyes. Since the eyes are small, I gave a small dab of paint in the middle and start to smudge it out to the edge. It seems to work better than if you try to go around the perimeter and work your way in. In the beginning, I wanted to cut a circle out of my two plates so the lights can shine up the alien and down the ground. But since cutting was quite challenging, I changed my design to leave the top plate alone and decide to add a black circle under the little guy to give the effect of him sitting inside a ship. For the dome, I use a clear plastic mold that usually used for baking. To hide the rough edge of the plastic dome, I use Cricut to cut out a donut using white vinyl. I try spray painting it with the bowls to keep the color consistent. Here's a look back, maybe you caught that. However, I ended up using a piece of cardstock that has the same shiny finish. This worked better since I didn't have to worry about lining up the vinyl sticker perfectly on the first try. I used double-sided tape to attach to the dome 
and then more tape to attach to the top plate. For the light feature, I found these neat puck lights that were battery powered and able to change color with a remote control. To get the light as bright as possible, I decided to remove the cover that comes with it. If I were to do this project again, I would mount the light first before attaching the alien. Since the alien is already glued, I put the whole thing in a cup and flipped it upside down so I can put some pressure on the light and plate without squishing the little guy. Since the lamp was battery power, I used magnets to help me easily open and close the UFO when it's time to change the battery. I glued down three pairs of tiny magnets onto the bottom plate. After it was dry, I added glue onto the top magnets and then set the top plate into the position I wanted. After running a test, I realized I wanted the top of the UFO and alien to light up in the dark as well. So I cut up some glow-in-the-dark tape and applied them to the top plate. I removed the alien and tried to add glow-in-the-dark spray paint, but when it dried, it was just inconsistent and didn't look good. I settled on getting a store-bought glow-in-the-dark alien and cut its legs off to fit in the dome. <laughs> 